Great news regarding the FAA license for the Strategy Flight 3. SpaceX has successfully submitted its conclusive report to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, for short consoling the second launch of its Strategy Vehicle in November of 2023. Notably, there is no subsequent involvement of the Sea and Wildlife Agency, this time of if the Fish and Wildlife Services is involved, it's at a subsequently reduced level compared to after IF-1, the return to flight for the Starship Super Heavy Vehicle, hikes on the FAA determination, grade any system process for reducer related to the mishap does not compress it public safely. Request documentation for a new launch license of IF-3 has been subsequent and the FAA is currently reviewing and findings, steps and proposed mission profile for IF-3 following this process it typically doesn't take an expected period for the FAA to provide documentations on the necessary steps before SpaceX has proposed. With the next launch, it appears the final details are being addressed and necessary checks are being completed and are timing alike. Well, for a February launch, Elon Musk previously mentioned in November of 2023 that the third strategy vehicle will be ready for flight in the next three to four weeks. After the launch for Ship 25 and Booster 9, although this timeline did around Christmas has initially anticipated the potential for Strashi Flight 3 to occur next month, suggests a shorter waiting period compared to previous. SpaceX has demonstrated its proficiency in working with the FAA and swiftly returning to the launch pad. After setbacks are not able example in a loss of a Falcon 9 rocket during a cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station in 2015. Deep side, the setback SpaceX successfully returned to the Flight 6 month after achieving the groundbreaking feat of landing and booster similarly in earlier testing first to the strategy spaces in crafted issues resulting in a loss of several prototypes. However, the company ability to identify and these problems allowed them to resume testing. This reliance is evident in the case of the third fully integrated strategy system where SpaceX has applied lessons learned from previous challenges. SpaceX identified the issues of the failure involving the flight in termination system and uh, destruction for the second Straight spacecraft investigation revealed that the issue was associated with the venting liquid, liquid oxygen propoplanet near the end of the burn. This swift determination allowed SpaceX to confirm the diabetes will within the expected area in the event of a failure. The company commitment all through analysis and transport under addressing the flight to actually almost it to orbit so in fact ideally i i had a prayer it will have made it orbit because the reason that it actually didn't quit make it auto over it was went into liquid oxygen and liquid oxygen ultimately led to fire and an explosive alarmness highlighted and a venting issue leading to the fire would have been unnecessary if the starship had a payout or a payout would have been consumed by the Rapidor engines to reach orbit while alone Max Rapidor engines to reach orbit while alone Max did provide detailed information on how to venting trajected the fire on address by a super heavy stage. Subsequent exploration has expressed a confidence of the upcoming flight three chases to orbit. Testing well when to get our bed we had one to unfaze our engine burn from the heater tank and prove that we can reliability the orbit the only approval to the starship by the FAA is closely tied to the NASA Artemis program. Nice NASA is highly investing four billion dollars in starship in trusting SpaceX to use the vehicle for transporting astronauts on the from and lunar surface this marks a significant step for nasa aiming for a first crewed lunar lander since the apollo era in 1972 this success through the ames program hikes on a reliability for starship which multiple successful flights to capabilities additionally starship need to achieve the challenges 
Perhaps um, in orbit, refueling before breaking on missions to the moon, a feat never before accomplished while I would hope the Biden administration take note of what it is at takes here the push. The FAA do not frag a fit with the next launch license. Tied to Horson, a known resident senior associate at the center of the strategic and the international studies of Washington. Think the ex NASA Arthmic program is accurately depend on starship development on the commercial space sector that will benefit greatly before the significant drop in launch license. Starship will bring the relationship between SpaceX and the federal government, particularly the FAA, may encounter tensions due to difference in expectations regarding approval timeline. SpaceX known of its efficiency and rapid development may find itself navigation and the government which often follow this says streamline process space extend to expected government approval will follow logical and affected timelines Harson said but government is anything but logical and affected a lawsuit field adjacent FAA in 2023 by the coalition of environmental groups and Native American tribes allied and agency failed to fully assess the environmental impact of SpaceX and National Space Launch attempt these legal challenges is ongoing. A new claims were failed in December of 2023. Following the second launch, continued concerns from the environmental and groups. The success for the SpaceX and other private rocket companies has contributed on a in necessity regulated by the FAA originally by the FAA relied on the Air Force to lead regulatory efforts of the Cape Canaveral. However, with the emergency for the SpaceX successful companies like SpaceX, the FAA assumed a more proficient role in overseeing and regulating commercial space activities, the government influence and achievement to the private aerospace companies has promoted regulatory authorities to play a more active role in ensuring safety and compliance within the industry. With FAA is trying to learn max, Norway is a get their feet in a door and recently hindsight crossing over into the bounds and authority and their certain inside crossing over into the bounds of authority. A bigger role in the control room, Brazil Director in Florida launch operation for SpaceX, who has previously worked under both Boeing the ULA in the rocket programs before joining up the SpaceX, said the growing involvement of the FAA in regulating commercial space activities and draw exam reactions while some like Hudson express concerns about unnecessary FAA involvement, particularly in case where I made lead to delays and in launch operation where I also acknowledge for the need regulations oversight to ensure public safety and process environmental surprise to right balance facility efficiency launch operation and interesting regulatory requirement that serve public interest in a challenge faced by the rocket makers and regulatory authorities in the involving landscape of commercial space exploration However, a fan of the NWL development and adhesive rocket makes to push back against unnecessary FAA involvement Boeing down launch operation to stop and educate people who don't really understand what's going on still he was that if you hand be a big launch vehicle and launching from Texas on Minestone and however I would see how public interest would be served by FAA involvement if it was at a right and perspective level how the issue of the expectation between private space companies, firms and FAA civil servants adds to the regulatory landscape instances like SpaceX launching a rocket in the FAA deep side, the deep side over the weather model highlighted the challenges recalling chiefing blessing the forcing commercial space industry. If you do the episode, thank you so much for tuning. And if you want to support our channel even further, you can swap to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a Patreon.